You ready? I'm glad you came with me today. Well, I do what I can, sweetie. I just wish you'd come more often. Hello, Maggie. It's good to see you. And Phil, I wanted to catch you before you guys left. Well, you caught me. It was good to see you today. It's been quite a while since you've attended Sunday service. Well, I'm a busy man, Pastor. What can I say? Yeah, I understand. Babe, I'm gonna go say goodbye to the choir director. Oh, okay. I'll be with you soon. Thank you for the good word today, Pastor. I really needed it. The power of time. What a unique message. Well, I wish I could take credit for it, but our glory goes to God. See you next Sunday. <laughs> All right, you have a blessed day. And hopefully I'll see you as well, Phil. I don't know. I gotta check my schedule. Your schedule, huh? Do you plan any time for God in that schedule of yours? Me and God have an understanding. I'll make time for God when the time is right. Wow, that's a little harsh, isn't it? Harsh? No. God taking a woman before her life was lived to the max, that's harsh. My mother was a good woman, and did God care about her time? I don't think he did. So as I said, when the time is right. Besides, didn't you do enough preaching in there today? I think I've had enough. Well, well I'm sorry, Phil. That wasn't the intent of my heart to come out here and preach to you. I really wanted to see how you were doing. I haven't seen you since... Since the funeral, I know. Phil, your mother was a part of my family, and I'm deeply hurt by her loss. But don't blame God, man. Everyone has a time and a season. Oh, speaking of time, I think it's time for me to leave. I have an appointment I have to go uh, get to. Oh, do you? Yeah, uh, and thanks for the pep talk. Next time, save it for someone who wants to hear it. Seems like you two had a lot to talk about. What did he say? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Something about time and seasons and I don't know. Maybe you should pay attention more often. Mags! I came to church with you today. You should be satisfied. Let's go. Sorry. There's no use in sneaking in, Phil. I'm awake. Sneak in? How? I'm not sneaking in my own house. <laughs> okay, so what's the reason behind all the stumbling? I'm not stumbling. Then what are you doing? I'm walking. Phil, I've been waiting for you all night. Where have you been? You know where I was. Oh, out with Chad again, drinking like you guys are back in college? Grow up. I am grown. You know where I was. That, that's enough. Phil, you know how much I hate when you drink. It's bad enough that we barely make ends meet and here you go spending whatever we have left on alcohol. Maggie, I'm tired. Uh, I don't want to argue. Fine. We won't argue. I know how your life's gonna end up anyways. Just like your father's. I'm nothing like my father! You know how much that bothers me. I'm nothing like that man. He's nothing but a loser. And where do you think you're headed? Surely it's not a better place. You come in here stumbling and fumbling around like you have no responsibilities. Isn't it time for you to change? I can't take this right now. Oh, so you're gonna walk out now? Such a coward. I'm not a coward! Phil, you're hurting me! I told you I didn't want to argue, but you just had to keep talking, didn't you? Let me go! I'm so tired of arguing! I'm nothing like my father! Didn't your father abuse your mother?
Hey, Phil, how you doing? Hey, I'm okay. Had a bad argument with my wife last night. Oh, man. So I got some making up to do, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I smooth it over with some chocolate and some roses. Roses and chocolate, huh? Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, it works for me. What's going on with the car? Oh, man, it's all right. It's in all right condition, man. But there's a few things I think you need to get fixed. Like? Like your brakes, man. They're getting real, real low. Really starting to affect your rotors already. And I'm hearing that grinding. Yeah, I heard that. But come on, John. How long you've known me? 15 years. Right. So I know you're trying to make some extra money on me. You and my father have been doing that forever. It's not like that, man. Listen, came to me last year around inspection time. I told you then you was going to need your brakes fixed. It's around inspection time again. You really need them fixed. Well, I don't think it's going to pass. Are you serious? Very. It's my wife. I, I, hold on, I gotta take this. Hello? Hey, Maggie. I'm at the mechanic. What's up? Good news? What is it? O okay, okay, I'm leaving now. Okay. Oh, and I'm sorry about last night. Okay, I love you. Bye. John, I gotta go. My wife has some good news. I gotta, I gotta go. Yo, Phil, man, what's up? You gonna get the brakes fixed? Yeah, yeah, I said later. Don't wait too long. Hey, baby, I'm home. So? What's the good news? Remember how I went to the doctor for my checkup? Yeah. Well, I told him how I've been feeling tired lately and he took an extra test. Yeah. And? What's that? I'm pregnant. No way! <laughs> yes way. Go. Wait. What? Wait. <laughs> oh, I gotta frame this. I can't believe it. I'm going to be a dad. Well, believe it. You're going to be a daddy. Have you told anyone? No, not yet. Not even Stephanie? <laughs> not even Stephanie. I wanted you to be the first to know. Wow. Well, I'm going to call her later, of course. I got to tell somebody. Chad. Uh, he's at work. Why don't you go tell your father? My father? Why would I tell him? Well, he's still your father. I mean, maybe he'll give you two something to talk about. Maybe. I wish my mother was still alive. She always wanted a grandchild. I know. But go ahead to your father's, okay? I'll see you later. Okay. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Hey, Steph? What you doing? Can you come over? I have some good news to tell you. No, I don't want to tell you over the phone. Okay. All right. See you in 15. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'll make sure to make the appointment later on this week. Don't worry about it. Hey, uh, listen, my son just pulled up. I gotta go. I'll call you back later. All right? Okay, bye. What brings you by? It's been a long time. Truthfully, I wish I could tell this to my mother, but my wife told me I should tell you. Tell me what? I'm gonna be a father, Maggie's pregnant. You gonna keep it? Why would you ask me something like that? Just a question, you don't have to get all offended. You know, it's just, being a father is a big responsibility. You might wanna think about it. Is that what you wish you did, think it over? I'm just saying, there's a lot of responsibility here. You should give it some thought. It's not that easy. I knew it. That's why I didn't want to come here. I come here to tell you something good and you always find a way to make it bad. You can't just be happy for me, can you? I've been waiting for you to be a father to me my whole life, it seems like. And now that I'm going to be a father, you know what scares me most? I'm scared I'm going to be just like you. I don't want to be like you. I want my kids to be able to depend on me. I want them to know that they could trust me. I'm going to be everything you could never be. Oh yeah, you say that now, but we'll see. See what? What does that mean? It's just a lot to think about. It means it's a big responsibility, man, I'm telling you. 
You know, you don't know what it's like to be a father. To love your children should be easy. Yeah, life might be hard at times, but to love your own flesh and blood, that should be easy. There's no excuse for the way you treated me and my mother. You leave your mother out of this. Or Shut what? up, get or out what? of my You're gonna face. hate me more, you're gonna beat me like you beat my mother. Oh. You'll see. Not today. Eugene, how you doing? Oh, good. You all right? One of them days, I just don't feel like talking. No disrespect. Well, you know, it's us out here. Just confidential between us, so, you know. I just got in a fight with my father. You mm -hmm. know, I just came out here. I got to clear my head. I got to work things out. I just, just need to, I don't know, just work it out. But, Work it out, you know. I just, I don't know. I really feel this in my spirit to share with you. I was going through a lot of stuff myself. I went to church one day, one Sunday, and I surrendered it all at the altar. Christ really came in and changed my life. My mother believed in Christ, and look what happened to her. You know, I'm not ready to hear that. You know, Phil, you might not always understand what God does and why he does those things, but you know me. We grew up together. You know, you know I lost loved ones as well. And we can't put it all on God, you know. But at the same time, God will help you through that, through those situations, man. Well, you just said it. You know me, and mm -hmm. I know you. And you know how I feel about God. I'm not, I'm not where you are. God has touched your life. He hasn't touched mine. I just, I can't, I can't go there. I, I'm, I'm not there, you know. We gotta give God a chance, Phil. Until then, we'll never feel that touch that you was talking about. At the end of the day, Phil, God don't want you to die without him. So, the choice is yours. I know what you're trying to say, and I respect it a whole lot, you know that. But it's just not my time. I don't know when it's gonna be. I can't, I can't accept them right now. Phil, can I pray for you? Hey, you could. Great. Father God, we thank you right now for Phil. And I ask that you move in Phil's heart, give Phil great understanding, give him wisdom, reveal your son to him, Father God, that he may know the way, that he may find the true way, God, to the cross and to, the, to heaven one day, Father God, that he may see his mother again. We thank you for Phil right now, Father God. Protect him as he goes along his way. Protect him in his household, protect him on his job. Be a blessing to him, Lord. Hello? This is? Wait a minute. Who's in the hospital? My wife's in the hospital. What hospital? Well, where is she? All right, then. I'm on my way.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the same all the time. It's the same all the time. You don't know where you are, do you, Phil? Why can't I move? Why can't I move? You can't move, Phil. Cause I own you. I don't want you to move. Your days of free will are over, Phil. Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? Many people have many different names for me, Phil. Many people call me many different things. But you know me as Satan, Phil. Satan. Satan? I'm dead? Well, wait a minute. I can't be dead. I, I must be dreaming. You're not dreaming, Phil. This is real. I've had my eye on you for a long time. I almost lost you to him, Phil. But I love it when I win. Smile with me, Phil. Smile with me. I love it when I win. Win? Win what? Your soul, Phil. Your soul. Your days of grace are over. Your days of salvation are over. He can't intervene here. Or should I say he won't intervene here? Let me go! Please, God, help me! God's not here, Phil! God's not here! No one's gonna pray you out of this one! No one's gonna protect you here, Phil! You people amaze me! I don't have to invent anything new for you, Phil! I just do the same thing all the time! It's so easy to get you to fall off a pad! Please, give me another chance! This can't be real! I didn't know I didn't have enough time! This can't be real! This is real. Welcome to hell, Phil! Welcome to hell! So no.